Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'll be covering is the PHP switch statement. And the PHP switch statement is very useful if we have a lot of similar conditions that we need to compare with a certain value. The only method that we currently know of in order to implement this comparison is with the if statement. So for example, say we were hosting a party and based on the person the party is for, would determine what type of cake we would bring. So here I have a basic if statement as well as a variable. And this variable's job is only to hold the person's name the party is for. So with our if statement to an else if statements, all we're doing here is just checking to see if that person is equal to Jack. So if the person is Jack or if the person is Linda or if the person is Sarah, which it is, we're just going to execute that code. So this is the basic way that we would implement something like this if we needed to. However, using switch statements is much more efficient and quicker when you have a situation where you need to compare a variable with many different values. So first I'm going to show you the basic layout for a switch statement, and then I'll show you how to convert our if statement above into a switch statement. All right, so first what I'm going to do is write a comment block. Next, I'm going to write the word switch. Then I'm going to open my parentheses. And then normally inside this parentheses, we're going to have a variable or some type of expression. So I'm going to write variable, close my parentheses, open a curly brace. Next, I'm going to write on the next line case, and I'm going to say case one. Then I'm going to say do this. Then I'm going to write break, end it with a semicolon, go to the next line, write case two. Again, I'm going to write do this, break. Then I'm going to go to the next line, write case three. Again, do this, break. And then finally, I'm going to write default. And I'm going to write do this, break, semicolon, close my curly brace. And as you can see, I also wrote a colon after each one of these cases as well. All right, so let's evaluate what's going on here. First, I wrote the word switch to indicate that I am about to use the switch statement. Then I included a variable, and then I have all these different cases. Then I have this default case. All right, so for the case one, when we say case one, what we're really saying is, if the variable is equal to one, go ahead and execute this code here. Next, we have this break. The reason we have the break is when we say break, we mean once we execute this code, break out of this switch statement, meaning go to the rest of the code if we had code down here. However, if the variable is not equal to one, go ahead and proceed to the next case, which is case two. So if the variable is equal to two, go ahead and do this. Again, after you execute whatever code is in here, it might be multiple lines in here. Once you go ahead and execute all that code, break out of this switch statement. I don't want you to continue to execute case three in the default, because if we don't have the break, this is important. If we don't have the break in here and we did have to execute two, or the variable did equal two, and we executed this code and it didn't have a break, it would continue to execute case three, and we had a case four, case five, so forth, and it would also execute this default. So it's important to have this break after each case. It's just a common practice in to include that. Now, the default, what this is kind of like, is like our else in our if statement. So basically, if none of these conditions or none of these cases are true, go ahead and by default, execute this code. All right, so now that we have a basic understanding how the switch works, let's now convert the party cake if statement above into a switch statement. So what I'm first going to do is write and comment example. Then I'm going to create a variable called person. I'm going to assign to that variable the text string Sarah. Into what a semicolon. And again, this holds the person's name. Then I'm going to echo out the party is for person. Put a line break. In other words, the party is for Sarah. So I'm going to say switch. Open my parentheses. Then I'm going to type my variable, which is person, close my parentheses, open a curly brace on the next line. I'm going to start my first case. I'm going to say case Jack. 
insert a colon. On the next line, I'm going to say echo. So bring carrot cake. And it with a semicolon. Next, I'm going to write break again. This is important. Then I'm going to go to my next case. I'm going to say Linda. Put my colon. Echo. So bring banana cake. Again, type my break. Type another case. I'm going to say Sarah. Colon. Echo. So bring angel cake. Type my break. And finally, I'm going to write default. And I'm going to write echo. So bring chocolate cake. And I'm going to break. Then I'm going to write my curly breast because that's the end of my switch statement. All right, so let's reevaluate what's going on here. First, I created a variable called person and assigned a text string Sarah to it. Nothing new here. And then I echoed out some information. Again, this isn't really important. But then when we get to our switch statement, that's when all the fun begins. We basically compare this variable to all these different cases. So when we proceed to case one, what we're really saying is if person is equal to the text string Jack, execute this code here. Once you execute this code, break out of this switch statement, meaning I don't want you to proceed to these other cases. Don't even check them. Don't look at them. They're not really there. Just continue on to the rest of the code in this file. All right. So if this condition or this case is false, if person is not equal to Jack, I want you to proceed to the next case. Check to see if person is equal to Linda. If it's not equal to Linda, again, proceed to the next case if we have one. If it's equal to Sarah, again, execute this code. Once you hit this break, break out of this. Do not proceed with executing this default case. But if all of these cases are false or if person does not equal any of these cases, Go ahead by default and echo out or execute this code here and then break out of this switch statement. So first, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and save it as it is right now. And I'm going to call it switch.php. Then come over to my browser and type localhost PHP basics. And let's change this to switch. As you can see, it says the part is for Sarah. And I guess I should <laughs> notice that should be party. So let me refresh it again. The party is for Sarah. So bring angel cake. So again, what it did is it went through all these cases and then it finally found a case that was equal to Sarah and executed this code. Now let's change this text string Sarah to something that is not included in this switch statement. So I'm going to make it false. I'm going to make all these cases false. So I'm going to write, let me just put Robert here. All right, so as we can see, we have no cases that equal Robert. So by default, it should just execute this code here. So I'm going to save that, refresh my browser. So as you can see, it says the party is for Robert, so bring chocolate cake. Now, let me show you why it's important to include these breaks. Let's say, for example, I changed this text string to Jack. And as you can see, our first case is equal to Jack. Let's say I take out this break and I hit save and I come back to my browser and I hit refresh. As you can see, it says the party is for Jack. And it also says, so bring carrot cake, so bring banana cake. So let's reevaluate and see why that happened. So if we come back to our switch statement. As we can see, we have the first case, which evaluated to true. So we executed this code. But since there was not a break there, it proceeded to the next case which was Linda. It didn't care to compare person with Linda. It just went ahead and executed this. But when it came to this break, it said, okay, it's time to end the switch statement. Let's get out of it and let's proceed with the other code in this file. So if we took out the break in Linda or the second case or in the third case, and we hit save and I refresh my browser, as you can see, it got all the way to so bring chocolate cake. And as you can see, it didn't hit a break until it got to the default case. So it's highly important that you include a break 
after each one of your cases. I'm going to hit save, refresh. And as you can see, it stops after it says, so bring carrot cake. So that does conclude this tutorial and hopefully now you have a new or better understanding about how to implement PHP switch statements. And again, using switch statements are much more efficient and quicker when you have a situation where you need to compare a variable with different values or strings. So be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to ensure that you understand the basic concepts for PHP switch statements. And I'll see you in the next video.